Biffler, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10, their looks, physical looks, scale one to 10. We'll start with you, we'll go around the table, go ahead. So 8.5. Eight, 8.5. I'm 10. Seven. 6.5. I'd say 7.58. That, that's lower than last time. No. I, I used to say six. I'm a In front of all these beautiful women, how could I ever not humble myself down to a four, really? Proud of you, Andrew. Yeah. It's a good. I'm a five. I give myself a five. Brian, you rated yourself lower than usual. Yeah, I've dropped. I've been Wait, getting a little chubby. So. Six and a half. See, now that's humble. Yeah, that's humility. That's, that's humility. humility. Right? That's the thing that's usually harder for men to do. Just, just say it. Just point it. I've noticed a pattern here. I think men tend to fairly <laughs> accurately self-assess their own level of physical attractiveness, whereas I've heard women men not have so much. More self-esteem issues than women do. What's that? I've heard men have more self-esteem issues than women do. Mm. Why would you and? say that? Just, and I also heard that they're also more emotional. Are they? Who have you heard these yeah, things? Yeah, because, from? well, I mean, you guys will act off based off pride, and then it's going to be like an emotion thing. Okay. Do you think but, men or women have more cosmetic geez. surgery? I think probably women. Yeah, probably <laughs> women. Do you think that that's because they have way more self esteem than men? I don't point. think that necessarily what I'm talking about is the same thing. Well, for instance, you just rated yourself a four, right? Yeah. And maybe people may not agree with you. And I just rated myself a 10 and people may not agree with me, right? My self-esteem is clearly higher no, than yours. No, I'm not sure that we are. I think that what we're talking about is value judgment. And I think that I'm making a way better value judgment than the value judgment that you're making. So the mm -hmm. value judgment that I'm making is this. I'm old and I'm married and I'm out of shape and I smoke. Right? And I'm not a very pleasant person to be around for long periods of time, especially for the opposite sex. Like I know all of these things about myself. So my value judgment overall is a four. Tell me the value judgment of how you came to a 10. Oh yeah, I just think that in general, we should think that we are great. Right, so you just decided it with, there's no value judgment there, you just decided it. Yeah, he asked me what I would rate myself, and yeah. because it's my opinion looks. about myself, just looks. I am. I took a long time for me to love myself, and I do now. And so, yeah, I think that, like, you know, I'm a misty ten. I have a question I, for you. you Why did Andrew? you come to that value judgment? Because I don't put within my value within. I don't put that within that rigidity of certain. I guess value judgments. More subjective opinions about what value is because I know my value, I know my worth, and I know my beauty that I hold within myself for myself and that is appreciated by other people <coughs> because at the end of the day, beauty is subjective and it is absolutely within my right to hold myself to a higher value and how I conduct myself in the world around me. Yeah, but the, when you're talking about the value judgment here, my wife, I'm sure that she has a way higher value judgment of me than I have of me. I would agree that she probably should. From her subjective assessment, she probably thinks I'm a great provider. She thinks I'm a great father. She thinks I take care of all of my responsibilities and duties. She can 100% trust me. So she probably has this really high value judgment of me. But when I'm doing an actual assessment of me, like Andrew Wilson, the person, and my looks and how it's reflected outwards to other people. I'm adding this value, this value, this value, like a mathematical formula to come up with that equals four. What are you doing to come up with that? Other than I just think that we should have high self-esteem so that we, because I just think so. Because I know I'm a good person. Because frankly, if we want to get aesthetic, I don't have a busted face. I'm fat. And if people want to reduce my value because of my fatness that's not my problem and that is not the um ideology i hold for myself um i am someone who is pursuing weight loss not for aesthetics not for looks but for my health and it is something i'm moving forward with because i have been for the past two to three years now working on my self-love and loving myself into a place to care enough about myself to take my health back into control when I was being consistently shamed at 15 when I have Looks like it worked out. I'm you're really great at over talking and being disrespectful and I'd love the opportunity to get my point but, across okay but the, so just just to cut in here a little bit the original question 
was rate your looks because <laughs> yeah. you mentioned your personality you have a great personality or whatever it is and i and like he i said my fatness doesn't devalue me so i'm an a why doesn't it because oh i think that fat you can think. be beautiful it's my assessment of my it's looks perceptive. right but why yeah, okay. why is it that your own I assessment of your looks has wrong. nothing to do with how the external world perceives you that's my because problem don't give a shit. right because you don't care so there's no I real value judgment I don't care about other people's how opinion can, of how me. Can it's you not more important than the opinion of I want of myself. Yeah, and it if is. You don't, if you don't live that way, <laughs> if you. there's a value judgment of how you would self-assess your own looks, the only possible conceivable metric I could even think of would be the perception of how other people view you for your value judgment and of I how you look. I was in a relationship for almost eight years with someone that, who thought my how body you, how could he, was how could the you most ever come beautiful up with a thing he had ever seen. He had told me that more often than not. I have been pursued by many men who think I am gorgeous and beautiful. That perception exists this whether you have it or not okay so assume Absolutely. for a second i can envision a world where you're the only human being who's inside of the and world and guess what i'll and never be the, the only one who thinks i'm hot and i know that bugs the yeah, yeah, shit yeah, yeah. out of you. i can mm -hmm. perceive that i can come up with whatever metric i want for myself because i have nothing to compare it to so if i have nothing to compare it to and i have nobody else's value judgment then I can say I'm the most beautiful person who's ever lived, and that would be true. But if I have the value opinions. judgment of hundreds of millions of people <laughs> to mean? compare the standard to, and I know that I'm below that threshold, and just decide that I'm above that threshold anyway, I'm not the only that's person not based who makes on anything decision. objective. You're just making shit up. No, no I'm not. Asked us our opinion. So yes, it was a made-up opinion from us. Yeah, it is for sure. <laughs> your perception you. of your truth is not the same for myself or, any, or anyone else. Back. Yeah. What is truth in a world also, that you're and, an eight? What, and what societal standards in which country? I must in every country on planet Earth, she's not an eight. Wait, Be re you're ridiculous. In different places, he's so combative, bro. It's wild. Well, he gets he, very upset. And then he I live. Do you know, he, know what reality that is? That is the bottom line here. And I've been respectful. Well, how many it's not disrespectful. Here? I'm just telling you what's true. Oh, what was the, what the was energy about me being a mother, bro? That, that was the energy me. you put towards it. That was me. No, it's not. I'm not. I've been taking it respectfully for hours now. But to be fair, also, it's interesting to claim to be so religious and so close to. Jesus mm -hmm. and be so What would negative. Jesus do? He'd be he like, you're a tense, he sweetheart. Turn the Forget other it, he, he would, would, turn the he other would love me as one of God's children. Yes. He would have known that yes. if my journey and my yes. life is embarrassing But you know you're to fat too, whether he loved yeah. you or not. And you know what? Being fat is not bad. Yeah. It's embarrassing, though, to <laughs> claim that's the, the religion you have. we have. Which is how insane. negative. How there's going to be other people who are going to be like, I don't claim this. Because it's like, this is part of the reason why you're hypocritical. There's no hypocrisy. You're claiming to love and be this one big thing. And then to be so negative, instead of encouraging or say even anything in actual love thy neighbor, let's form of encouragement. In actually a constructive way, you kind of just get pink and start yelling. Like the only way that I can ah. get, a, get a word in when you <laughs> shrill you harpies are screeching is for me to talk loudly. Oh, no, you, I mean, you're really great you at over talking. It it's one of your best You've qualities. You well, I have to cut into, cut down on the prattle. That's you true. push back on pink after all of that. I'm a terrible moderator. Okay, I'm a, shit, I'm a dog shit moderator. Okay, hold on. Let me just come in really quick. Let me just come in. The views expressed by the panelists do not necessarily reflect the views of me or the whatever podcast. Now, you said. Okay, I I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Do you, you, you I think you said women should view themselves. Better. Not just women, people in general. Oh, in general. But so do you think all women should view themselves as tens? I would love them to, yes. And not because everyone also let, agrees with them. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Are all women tens? No, I'm not saying whether you're attracted to them, but I I'm sure you can recognize a beautiful, like a beautiful woman. It's perceptive. But do you think all women are tens? In their own right, for sure. Not sure what that means, but okay. Are all men tens? In their own right, for would sure. You, I can appreciate things that I'm not necessarily attracted to. Does that make sense? So in what? your eye, are all men tens? Like just aesthetically, so just by looks. Like, and women. Because I know that someone thinks they're a 10, in mm -hmm. my mind, that's good enough to be part of the 10. Would I necessarily date them? Maybe not, well, but as far as believing they're a 10, for instance, is ice cream bad just because someone doesn't like the ice cream? No, everyone's gonna have their different opinion of it. And so the fact that someone likes green mint ice cream, for me, it might not be my person, but does it make it bad ice cream? No, it could still be good ice cream. So for that person, maybe they're not necessarily what I date them, but do I believe they should think they are a 10? Yes, I believe they should think they are a 10. I, I think all people should love themselves. So if, we have, if you mapped it onto reality, 
if you just mapped it onto reality, okay. then what would you say then if you mapped it onto reality? What do you mean? If you mapped it onto reality, rather I, than how you... I think it would vary depending on where I'm at. You're in Kazakhstan. I don't know what the women are so, like. So what would you say? Hot, say? For example, what would you say Scarlett Johansson would be aesthetically, cross-culturally to most men? Do you think most men would find her attractive? Country. Russian milk. I would, like, I'm not someone you're into, but I know there's men who think that I'm this shit. Of different countries I go, like, I might be like, and someone was clowning, they're like, she's not a Seattle 10, but like. What country could Scarlett Johansson be considered not pretty in? I don't know. I haven't been to all the countries. Could you even envision that there is one? I could, yeah. You could? What would I you could. speculate? Um, I would spec the, the area where it would be attractive would be in a culture where the people look like that. Sweden. So would you say in Europe? Just Europe? And I just think You don't think Africa either? It depends. I'm probably South Africa. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm going to go different places and people are going to receive me different. I was considered to be beautiful in China, but not necessarily someone they would be attracted to, if that makes sense. And when I went to Trinidad, I was the shit. Huh? In California, hmm. people don't really care that much because I'm not necessarily their societal standards of beauty. So I really think I'm, it depends on where I'm at or where I'm, the I'm, person's at. No one's a 10. I, Facts. I don't think you're a 10. I know, you said that. What did she say? I'm See, look, Catholic. That's why it's Catholic. I was raised Catholic. What does that have to do with anything? Here, we have another conversational thread here that we can get into. Misty, last time we were on, we got into a big, fun debate. Oh, we we're talking about the patriarchy and <laughs> cis and oppressor oppressed. I have the ultimate representative here of the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was hoping that you, you guys oh, could have right. a calm and collected conversation about patriarchy and systems of the oppressors and the oppressed white men. You want a white male to have a conversation about who's oppressed with a black female? Yes. That sounds yeah. dope. Not gonna the, lie. The, the white half Whoa. of you. I don't know that I need to have. Thank you. I came here to talk about dating. I don't want to talk about oh. that with my grandfather. Who's your grandfather? Sorry, my grandfather's also a white male, so you, I'm just like, I don't want to have that. Did you just say something rather ageist? No. Deeply I'll, offended that I'm you would talking refer about to Andrew like, as a... I just, I was raised by a white male and a white female, and mm -hmm. so the experiences we have are so vastly different that I'm just not even interested in going down that road. That's like standpoint theory. It's a Where's lot Madison? emotionally. I know you make us not understand, but it's... It's, no, I understand. It's, it's called standpoint theory. It's oh, okay. So yeah. fem feminist standpoint yeah. theory that you went back through and rewrote all of American history from the perspective of women because they felt like just giving a detailed actual historic analysis wasn't fair because it had to come from the perspective of women. So that's, that's what you're talking about. It's called standpoint theory. It's, I don't know that I was talking about that. Uh, well, it's the same, same with that exact thing you're saying. Because my experience is so vastly different, our perspectives are going to be vastly different. Right, but then the question comes down to, well, which perspective should no, we no, listen? No, 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 it's dating. Maybe. Oh, let's talk about that. Was, that's okay, not fine. Really related to dating. Sure. Is it? Well, feminism, you know, I think talk that's very much related to dating it because is. feminism, you know. Yeah. Here, you want you want to talk about dating? Let's talk about dating. Let's, let's talk, talk about body count. So should stupid. do you object? Because a lot of times men men care a lot about. Do you object to men caring about a woman's body count? Starting with you. I just think body counts are arbitrary. Farah, what about you? I think it's totally his prerogative to prefer a woman with a low body count. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I don't have a issue with it. Is it immature for a guy to care about body count? The past is the past. What? I just, I really believe that <coughs> you should get what you want, and if that's something that you want, go for it now. Would it make me feel sad if I wasn't part of your, like, your crew and I, I liked you and because of my body count you were not interested? For sure, but will I live? Yeah. Okay. How do you feel Either about or. men who care yeah. about? Body do you object to men having a preference in body count? Like if no, because it's their okay. choice, All right. right? Catholic. All right. I do not object. I just think that at the end of the day, yeah. it's their individual right to choose if they care about that aspect or not because mm -hmm. for both sides that's like aspect i don't care about from right. my perspective so if someone has that then that's just it's not a compatibility factor for us and that's fine with me well arbitrary <laughs> means without system so it's not arbitrary we have a system in place to know what this is which is how many men a woman's been with that's the system so it's not really arbitrary 
you make a distinction that it doesn't mean anything or it's not important to you, but it's definitely not arbitrary. So I just like backing up, I'm just curious, do you think from the man's perspective, if the preference is to hold the, the double standard, which is that we find it to be very important, you don't find it to be important, do you think we're holding a double standard? I, I think this double standard exists if a man has a high body count and refuses to be with women with a low body or high. But that body doesn't make count. it wrong. It's or, it is a double standard. It, it's it's what they choose to do, and I'm just not really in the business of telling men what I think they should or shouldn't do if I'm not interested in having them as friends or partners. Some of you said body count doesn't really matter. Don't object to, or you do object perhaps to men caring about body count, you think it shouldn't matter so much, you think it shouldn't be such a big deal. What's your body count? I don't have an exact number, I have an idea. R range is fine. Uh, probably somewhere between 50 to 60. 50 to 60, okay. Farah? Zero. Into the mic? Zero. Okay. Now, just real quick, because after the last panel, when you said that, a ton of people went nutso in my Discord and said that they had video of you saying the opposite of that and that you basically are just LARPing and just pretending that that's true. If I had to guess what they're responding to is I make skits on TikTok, kind of like satirical skits about discussions of gender. So I have like an off-screen male voice. So he'll ask me a question or I'll read a question being like, what's your body count? And it's all scripted and I'll say something like eight and then he'll say like, that's disgusting. And I'll ask him like a question response. Oh. So they're responding to like, yes, yeah, skits. Okay, because every time I've talked with you, uh, it's always yeah. been the same. So I have no reason to doubt it, but I had seen that. So I thought I'd yeah. ask. Don't share. Ra range? You want to do no, a range? Share. Range? I don't share. Oh. Probably like eight or nine. Or ten. No, not ten. Eight or nine. Okay. All right. Not ten. Maddie. What? Okay. Well, you've shared before. Yeah. She has a boyfriend. Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. <laughs> so wait. I mean, that's, 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 I mean, wouldn't, I mean, if I'm saying that I have a number, if it was higher, I would say it was higher. Yeah. Would say okay. right. Just to be clear, I don't think that's what I to this situation. Next time you have to say 20 because you know they're already going to multiply. Yes, yes. So actually, oh, okay. wait, Brian, right. how many are you at? We just skipped you and we skipped all the men. Actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. We'll do the men. We'll do the guy. What do you mean? Why would we not uh, do the men? I don't, I don't know. I lost count. I've been around the block. Have you said it before on the show? Yeah, I have said it. What? What is it? I said it was probably between 50 and 60. Wow. Oh, Multiply by that three and we have the number. <laughs> you guys got something in common. Mm -hmm. I think the quote in the movie is like divided by three for men. Oh, really? Yeah, because men, men will lie. You should have said 150, count. bro. Uh, Mason? <laughs> Zero. Oh, I'm married. I can't. Disclose oh, that kind of information <laughs> if you're not willing to. I'll tell you what, I'll go if you go. No, oh. I won't be doing that. No, 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 no I'll go if I'm you go. I'm not married, I'm not doing that. Oh. When yeah, I want something I, down, then fine. we can come back here. I got you. That's fine. Yeah. Wait, what? Well, I don't that know that what be? that has to do with anything. Yeah, I'll right. definitely go if you go. I'll yeah, tell not you. you. <laughs> the, huh? Did you save yourself for marriage? If I show you yours, you show me mine. Okay, all right.